This is Cynthia McKinney, and I'm calling from an Israeli prison cell block. The three guys of 21 who are human rights activists trying to take medical supplies, building supplies, and mostly crayons for children. I had a suitcase full of crayons for children to Gaza. And while we were um, on our way to Gaza, the Israelis threatened to fire on our boat. We did not turn around. Because we didn't turn around, the Israelis hijacked us because we wanted to give crayons to the children of Gaza. While we've been here, we have heard stories. We're in the women's section, and I have met women from Eritrea, Ethiopia, Sudan, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, Niger, and all of these women say the same thing, that they arrived here in a very difficult way. They came here through the United Nations. They have paperwork from the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, but when they arrived in Israel, they were taken by the police because Israel says to them, there is no UN in Israel. And what they all say is that we as foreigners have no rights. It's clear that the children of Palestine also don't have any rights. Something as simple as crayon for children, we have not committed any crime. We have been detained, and we want the people, really, of the world to see how we have been treated just because we wanted to deliver humanitarian assistance to the people of Gaza. It is incumbent upon President Obama to stand by his reported policy of easing the Gazan blockade and of allowing building supplies, medical supplies, and school supplies to go through. We call upon President Obama to use the highest level of his authority to transmit, transmit this message to the Israelis. Let the free Gaza 21 go, but also help the Palestinian people and the children of Gaza to assert and enjoy their natural human rights.